The spring brings nice weather like we're having now, but also it brings insects. In fact, <laughs> there's one caterpillar in particular that's been causing quite a buzz around town. We are talking about the Eastern Tent Caterpillar and Wake Up Central's Journey Taylor is here with a story that may make your skin crawl just a little bit. Journey, good morning. Just a little bit. Good morning, Karen and Hayden. This was a big talker on social media last week, but the big question about these Eastern Tent Caterpillars, why do they almost seem to appear out of nowhere and why so many? Take a listen. We're seeing a lot of eastern tent caterpillars. Uh, Malacosoma americanum is their fancy scientific name. You may not know them by name, but we're quite sure you may have seen them at least once. Seems like they've appeared out of nowhere, but really they've been here for uh, about three or four weeks. John Zavislak is an extension entomologist for the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture. He says from your backyards to your patio and even sidewalks, the eastern tent caterpillars can at times seem like they're taking over, but they're only here for a good time, not a long time. The whole lifespan uh, from the time they hatch out from an egg is maybe six weeks. They'll stay in the, the egg case all year long. They'll overwinter that way, and then next year we'll see some more. Although some may beg to differ, Zavishlak says these little hairy things are actually not considered pests. Uh, they won't cause a lot of damage to a healthy tree. They can defoliate really small young trees, but most trees that um, they feed on are, are going to recover and they'll put out another flush of leaves. But if you miss them this season, don't worry, they'll be back. Probably mid-March next year, people will start to panic again with this <laughs> sudden appearance of all these worms. Now he says they do get a few <laughs> questions on how to control these lovely hairy things, right? Mm -hmm. I know the nest is unsightly, but they, okay. he says do not burn the nest. Burn it. Burn oh. it. Yeah, I know some that. people are like, absolutely not. Don't do that. Don't, yeah. it. don't do that. It will cause the tree more harm okay. if you do that. Simply prune. Prune. <laughs> With prune. a long distance <laughs> If you can reach utensil. it, just prune it on out. Right? That's simple, right? Or make somebody, you know, that you love and owes you a favor do it. Yeah, there exactly. You go. There you go. <laughs> now, they also have a, their name in Greek means soft body. So okay. they won't do any harm to your kids or your dogs or cat. Uh, they say, in fact, if your kids pick them up and drop them, you're doing more harm to them. Okay. Oh. So sure. stay away from How them, I guess. birds? Do birds eat them? No, I think it's the hairs. He said they're too hairy. Oh, so okay. birds yeah. really okay. don't really like them. They don't like the taste of them. I am fine just to leave them be. Yeah. Fine yeah. Them yeah. I'd rather think of it as fur yeah. instead of that. <laughs> It, that a little is. more pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> it just they, just, little... they do kind of feel like they come out of nowhere and then they're just gone. So. Oh, yeah. How fun of an assignment, though, for you, Journey? I think That's so. Uh, I feel like I should go back to school. It's a lot that I, I don't remember about these lovely well, things. Well, why would we, right? Yeah. Hey, but now we know. solve the question. Absolutely. There you go. Journey, thank you so much. Of course. Fun discussion this yes, morning. Yes, yes.